Welcome to Feel Good TV. Here we are at the Australian Fitness and Health Expo in Melbourne. There is so much going on, a positive, awesome vibe and heaps to do. So let's go check it all out. Michelle Bridges, who's from The Biggest Loser and also has her amazing program, The 12 Week Body Transformation. So welcome, Michelle. Thanks, thanks for having me. It's uh, always exciting to be here at the Expo. I get to see lots of people that I haven't seen in a long time and lots of new faces as well and all the great things that are on offer, all the new things that are out in the marketplace. It's just a really great buzz and it's fun to be here. I saw you this morning also sweating it up and taking some trainers and fitness enthusiasts through a class too. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, they wanted me to do a workout and I think I had like 45 minutes. I was like, okay, cool. So I quickly put it together. And I mean, I've been pretty flat out, I have to say. So I was like, I put it together on the plane coming here. So I thought, oh my God, I better test it. Yeah. So I got up this morning at six and I did it in the gym at the hotel. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Love it. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I was on that plane. But anyway, I did it with yeah. them and they had a ball. I mean, it was a great workout and it had a lot of, you know, different up, um, parts to it where we worked individually and worked as a duo and then worked as a team. So it sort of it took us through a few layers and it, yeah, it, was, it was fun. You know, it's, it's just really cool to come and, you know, put new ideas out there so that personal trainers or people in the know can pick up some ideas and take them home with them. Yeah, that's really fantastic and I'm sure the trainers and everybody who's here really got a lot of value from your session. So tell me, what's been your favourite part of the expo so far? Oh, I've got to admit to you, since I got here this morning, it's been all guns blazing. I haven't actually stopped. So my favourite part, I suppose, was taking the workout. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the expo, I'm planning this afternoon okay. to get around and buy some stuff. You know, I always get here and think, I want to go over there and I want to buy those and I want to try that and I want to get those protein bars and yeah. so I think the shopping experience later this afternoon will be my favourite thing. Gotta love the shopping, awesome! Well it's been so great to catch up with you, enjoy the rest of your afternoon Thank and you. uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, see you later! Welcome. Now it's great to be here. How are you today? I am great, thanks. Now tell us, you're here at the expo. Yeah. You've been taking a few classes, I believe. Yes, I've taken uh, two classes today, and I'll have another two tomorrow. Um, the first class was all women. I don't know, where, guys, where are you? Like, <laughs> what's going on? It always seems to be the girls um, you know, getting in there, but it's, it was great. They worked extremely hard, both in the first and the second class. And um, I think they learned a lot as well and you know they can take that away and implement that into their own training. Fantastic. Now talking about own training, tell us a little bit about the commandos regime. I mean you're busy filming and you're also busy on the road with commitments. So how do you stay super fit? Well I, God, I, I my fitness I would say is pretty good, but um, it's nowhere near where it has been in the past when I competed doing CrossFit and the like. And I guess that's just breaking down time and obviously your your commitments and your priorities. But with everything that, that I've got on the fly at the moment, you know, biggest loser, get commando fit, you know, just being a part of the fitness industry and kind of a, an ambassador and spokesman for all of that, it, um, it's, it takes a fair, fair amount of commitment. Um, I'm fortunate enough though that it's something that I've always done from a very early age. So it fe I feel kind of out of place if I don't train. Whereas a lot of people find it hard, it's the opposite, you know what I mean? To try and instill those, those uh, positive habits. Um, oh gosh, I, I don't know, the times of night that I've trained at, the, you know, the early mornings, even trying to squeeze it in during the day. Like even if it's just get on the rowing machine and row five Ks, you know, do something or as I did with the with the participants today out there on the uh, on the floor, like the workout they did in total time was only 13 minutes. Yeah. So I might do a bit of a warm up, 
and then just just absolutely annihilate myself. And uh, you know, there's benefits in that, but uh, I try. I really like to work the strength side of things. So do some heavy lifting, you know, some Olympic weightlifting, and then some CrossFit type stuff. So combining the cardio, you know, the weights and the and the body weight type exercise, which really gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, so, I mean, there's so many takeaways there. One of them is just make the time, have yeah. the commitment, and it could only take 13 minutes and get an awesome workout. So, yeah, totally. thank you so much. It's great to see you, Bye. and uh, enjoy the rest of the expo. Thank get you. out there and have a lot of fun. I'll do my best, and you should all be doing it too. that coming into the winter months, there is no better person to speak to about healthy recipes than Teresa Carter. So welcome, Teresa. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. It's pumping. It That's is. Great. Isn't the energy amazing here at yeah. the Expo this year? Yeah. Now, yeah. You're, you're here at your stand with your awesome products. Yes. But you're so famous for, obviously, your cooking. Tell us a little bit about perhaps one recipe coming into winter that we could do that's really healthy and quick. Okay, uh, soup comes of mind, and my my favourite winter recipe: roasted pumpkin carrot soup with a hint of ginger. And you pretty much get um, a heap of carrots, a heap of pumpkin, put them in the oven with a bit of olive oil and sea salt, and maybe a touch of cinnamon, you know, and then you roast them for about 45 minutes until they're lovely and soft and golden. You blend them with water and maybe a tiny bit of fresh grated ginger and that's an instant soup. You don't need stock, you don't need anything. Yum! It sounds delicious. It's making me hungry right yeah. now. <laughs> and top of, you know, I normally like to have that with a nice piece of uh, crusty sourdough with some avocado or, you know, something like that. It's great. Fantastic. Yum. That sounds like the perfect healthy dinner yes. coming into winter. Yes. Now tell me, here at the Expo, you have really expanded with your products over the years. Oh, I mean, from last gosh. time I saw you to now, you're, you're really growing, which is so great to see. I am too. It's growing fanatically and we've just launched in the States as well, which I'm really excited about. But I'm, I'm excited to talk about my two, two new products, actually. Yeah. Um, it's the first organic ceremonial grade matcha tea in Australia, which wow. I'm very happy about. And matcha's amazing, you know, so high in antioxidants and it's similar to green tea, but 10 times more powerful. So uh, it's you put it in your smoothies. Uh, the guys here are, um, are using it, mixing it with the coconut water, using it before a workout, and it's really, really good. And the other one is another first for Australia. First, yeah, we want to be first. I love that. <laughs> we want to be the leaders. And um, no, this is the first um, organic cold pressed wheatgrass juice powder. Um, so that means that we've actually juiced the wheatgrass and then we, you know, dried it. Other than, other than most commercial people, are, you know, are drying the leaves. So it's more bulkier. This is 10 times more concentrated as well. So it's about getting as much nutrients that you can get into your system that's clean and that makes you feel great. So. That, that's fantastic. So we could just pop that in a glass of water or oh, in yes. your juices. This is, I was inspired to make this a few years ago when I go to my health and my favourite health spa, Kamalaya. And part of their, I suppose, not just a detox program, but for, for, for any other program, stress or whatever, it's, you start the day with a wheatgrass shot and it just helps alkalinise the system, high in chlorophyll, really, really makes you feel great. And I felt so good on it and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make this as a product. But it took a few research, a bit of research, trying to find the right source and the best the best thing for it. And I like to have a teaspoon with a big glass of water and some lemon. That That's and just uh, awesome. I, clean. Do you know what, I love how you've actually, from your passion and your experience, which has stemmed from trying that first, you've gone ahead and created your own product. So it's really beautiful to see you keep growing with your passion oh, and right. developing and implementing that into the Healthy Chef brand. You have to. It's, it's basically the whole brand is what I love to use and what I love to eat. I love chocolate. I love greens. I, you know, I love protein and all of that. And, it, and all of that, all my product range was stemmed because, or like has grown purely because I couldn't find great ones out there that, that suited my needs. And um, so I thought, right, okay, we'll just bring out the best, the best you can get. And that's the, that's the 
game with a healthy chef. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Teresa. It's been great catching up with you here you at the Expo once again and enjoy the rest of the time. Thank you. You too. But more importantly, right now, I am with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu 10 times world champion, Roger. So welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure being here. It's my first time in, uh, in Australia, so I'm very excited to be in, uh, in the Expo. It's great to have you here in Australia. Now, I hear you're like the Kelly Slater of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, tell us, when did you start out and what inspired you to get going in your career? I started very young because it's a, it's a sport that my whole family has been doing for, you know, for over 100 years. So we start very young in my family. And it was just something that I, I really enjoyed from the beginning and I took a passion for it and I just always tried to dedicate it as much as I could. And you know, here it is. Fantastic. Now you're here at the Expo this weekend. Have you been able to, you know, see a lot of the competitions and how have you found the Australian Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Yeah, no, I've been, you know, this is my second day here, it was yesterday too, and I heard about the Expo uh, back in London. So, you know, it's been walking around, it's, it's great, there's like thousands of people. And especially with the, with the Jiu-Jitsu tournament, seeing how much it grew in the last few years, so it's very excited. Can you tell us a little bit more about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and what it is exactly? It's a grappling sport. It was uh, first originally as a self-defense, a uh, pure self-defense, but it grew so much with so many people doing that then they start doing the sport like in a competition for them to be able to compete against themselves. And you know, it's a, it's a grappling base, like judo. Judo came from jiu-jitsu. So it's, judo is easy because it's uh, on the stand-up part. You know, you throw the opponent down and then the fight's finished. The jiu-jitsu, you have to carry on fighting on the floor. So this is based by points and submissions. It's a, it's, it's a grappling base, you wear the gear. So it's very exciting. Great. So throughout your time here at the Expo, what has been your real highlight? I think watching the, so many people coming competing and uh, walking around uh, the Expo, there's not just a lot of people competing, you know, see like the young kids and all the, the crowd around. It's really good. That's great. And anything that you really want to see while you're here in Australia? Uh, I just want to see a bit of the, the coach. It's my first time and I got here two days ago. And you know, I'll be here for another eight days. I just want to try to see as much as I can. Maybe watch some kangaroos, the only part of the world that they have. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This is the place to see them. So uh, thank you so much. Enjoy your rest of the time here at the Expo and your time in Australia. Thank you very much. What an awesome Expo it has been this year. So much fun has happened here in Melbourne. Right now I'm on a bike and I'm also blending a smoothie. But for now, I'm going to stop and enjoy. See ya. Next time on Feel Good TV, Find out more about where the fitness industry is heading from the CEO of Fitness Australia. Plus, want to know more about becoming a personal trainer? Tune in as we chat to the CEO of Australian Institute of Personal Trainers about courses that are available. Plus, meet the man who has been crowned Men's Health Man of the Year. So make sure you tune in to the next episode to find out more.